Okay. So now we are going to discuss about the some first library React tool tips. Okay. So what is this tool tips? Whenever you are hovering on any button or whenever you are hovering on any icon here, usually we want to show some information about the particular button. Okay. So such things we'll call it as a tool tips. So either we can write a tool tips using the title property. In HTML, we can write the title property. Suppose this logout, we want to write a title property. So that logout is available in which file? That is available inside the my header.js file. Components, header, header.js. So there is a button is there. Here I can write a title. Let us write a title. Title is equal to clicks click on logout something okay so now whenever you are going to hover here let us reload so whenever you are going to hover here now this time it, it is showing some tool tip. but this is a normal one we don't want to show the normal one we want to show some something uh like like this okay suppose whenever we are hovering it uh, we want to show in a color or we want to show in a black anything we want to show like this okay for this reason we no need to uh, write it again. We don't need to write this work on the styles. So there is a library called React iPhone Tooltip. Okay. You can install this library and we can do this. So let us install this library. NPMI React iPhone Tooltip. Let's go to here. Okay. So let us stop the project first and install it. NPMI I for install and a library name. Okay, so whenever you are going to install any library, first thing is you need to study how to add it to our code. Okay, so installation is you can write this command. So automatically project this will be installed. And second thing is using the npm package import CSS to the styles. So first we need to import our styles. Okay, so import react type and tooltip slash dist slash something like this. We need to import it. So let us import it. So once it is installed, let's start the project npm start. Okay, it will start the project. And whenever we have installed any library, where is that information will be available inside the node underscore modules folder. Okay, so inside the node underscore module folder will be there. And as part of the first step, what we have to do, we have to import the styles. Let us copy the styles. So if you want to add any style to all the pages, where can we add it? Such files we can add it inside the app data js file so let us go here already we are importing app.js something like this okay so we have imported this uh, styles let's file save all okay so let us go for and second thing is after this one either we can go for this type or you can go for a uh, this type any of the import you can go for. anyway we can go for it so let us go for a second one i'll go for something like this okay i'm just copying here and where we want to display this this one in the header let me import something like this so i have imported the this tool tip react iphone tool tip so this is nothing but import so from this library you import this tool tip and as after the as we are writing this one right here. this is nothing but alias name you can keep any name so this is the original name but you want to keep any other name you can keep like a you can write as and you can write a any other name also Okay, since this is a React tooltip library, we are writing it like a React type and tooltip. That is okay. So now this is done, and you can go for the the third step, like tooltip is equal to something like this. Or let let us try to see how to use it. Suppose here they have an H1 tag inside the H1 tag, they have ID, and that ID they are using it. So let us try to use the same thing. Uh, let us go to our button. So let us go to our button here. So this is a button. Let us use this tag, tooltip tag. So let us use the, okay, let me format the document. Okay, so let me write it. I'm just writing an ID here. ID is equal to login. And let us see. 
okay so whenever we are hovering we are getting the tooltip so let us change the text whatever the text we want to do it uh, let us add the text okay click on the button to log out okay so and you can uh, like you can work on the styles like you can reduce this color and you can add all these things you can do like this so there is a variant in for there is a, another property called variant so in that variant you can give like a uh, some types suppose i want to show it in a info color or some other color then you can give like this okay see now this time it is showing something like this you can explore here like what are the other variants are there so if you go to the original documentation there will be on documentation page here and uh, there will be link like how, what are the things you have to install there will be some information about here uh, check out the v5 docs for complex use cases yes so here they will explain how to use the uh, component and uh, what are the styles you should use it all the information will be available in this library you can explore more options here okay click on the options and you can uh, explore the more options here and examples see there are so many examples are there you can uh, go for any example whichever the example you like it something like okay whichever the example you, you want to see here and those examples uh, you can try it classes okay so this is uh, about the this first library react type one tooltip library so uh, why we will write this tooltip and let us see some uh, examples for this tooltip suppose we are seeing this page okay there is a button is there i want to see this button what is this button so what is this button it is showing it uh, so whenever we are hovering it is saying a uh, download the fida something like wherever you are clicking something let me click here scans suppose this is a filter and uh, they will explain about like uh, what will if you click here what will happen so they will most of the time they will have a clear uh, button descriptions on the tooltip that is a whenever you are going to see whenever i am going to hover here it is saying about that button like what it is going to do something like this this is a better ui practice so that is the reason you can install any other library also that is fine but always try to have some uh, now don't put this much of big text you can write this small you can customize these styles okay 